All right, good morning, grade seven students. My name is teacher Christian Salidid, and we are going to talk about literature and literary genres. Are you ready? All right, if you're ready, but before we start, let's first acknowledge the presence of our almighty God and let us bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord. Dear Lord and Father of all, Thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provided for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and our minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit and guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so um, uh, the learning objectives for today's lesson is first is we are going to identify the genres of literature. Second, we infer the character traits being exemplified. And third, we appreciate how the selection serves as an avenue in asserting Filipino identity. So... Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first an engagement activity. Are you excited? Let's proceed. So we have an engagement, engage activity wherein you will, you will guess the genre of uh, some movies or stories that you have encountered before or might not have yet encountered, but you are are familiar on the genre of those uh, movies or literature. Let's start. First is, first is this. What do you think is the genre of these three pictures? Is it drama or a fairy tale? All right, you are very correct. The answer is fairy tale because we know that uh, Cinderella, Between the Beast, and Red Riding Hood, Red Riding Hood is uh, an example of a fairy tale. Next question: How about this? What do you think is the genre of these pictures? The, the Amityville Haunting, Annabelle, Stephen King. Is it a horror or a humor? Horror is uh, something scary and humor is something funny. All right, that's correct. It's horror. Next. What do you think is the genre of these uh, movies? Is it historical fiction or humor? When we say historical fiction, it is something related to the history. When we say humor, it is something that has an element of comedy. Nakakatawa. All right, that's correct. It is historical fiction. Next, how about this? A Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, and The Hobbit. Is it realistic fiction? Is it fantasy? All right, it is uh, fantasy, you are very correct, grade 7 students. Uh, Harry Potter, The Hobbit, and A Game of Thrones is an example of fantasy, and we will discuss it, why it is a fantasy. All right, let's proceed to the next question. How about this? The hare and the tortoise. I think uh, you are very familiar with this one. 
Stuart Little and the Three Little Pigs? Is it a fable or a realistic fiction? Wow! You are all correct. It is fable because a fable is a story about animals. Very good. Very good grade 7 students. So let's proceed to our discussion. Let's start. What is literature? Literature is came from the word from the Latin word litera, which means acquaintance of letters. It is it also came from the word liter literatura, which means a, a written work formed with letters. So a literature is written work. It is written in a paper consists of words. Okay. Next, it is a body of work. Yes. It contains imaginative language which portrays thoughts, emotions, and experiences of human conditions. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the difference between the literature and the uh, other written work. Uh, literature is far from the normal or uh normal what we used to to write like essay or uh something like that so essay so um literature has an imaginative language which means um it portrays uh something that has a deeper meaning than a literal meaning so um kunwari uh, uh may pinresent uh may sinulat ako na uh, story. Tapos, yung ibang mga bagay doon ay may simbolismo or may sinisimbolize sila na ha, uh, deeper meaning. Do you get that? Do you understand that, grade 7 students? Imaginative thinking is uh, a writing form uh, through uh, way from the literal or reality. Hindi uh, Nagsusulat ka hindi base sa nakikita mo. Nagsusulat ka base sa kung ano yung naiisip mo. And kung ano, yung, ano man yung naiisip mo, it is far from what is reality. Do you understand that? It is imaginative and it is far from reality. Alright, so it also portrays thoughts and emotions just like uh, in poems. Uh, it portrays emotions of the author or the poet on what uh, she, he or she intended to give meaning of his or her poem. It also portrays experiences because some of the literature are uh, uh, written because of the experiences of the author. And uh, through that experiences, it uh, uh, they shared it to other people. They write it and publish it to other people and other people will learn from his experiences. You understand that? All right. If you understand that, uh, let's proceed to literary genres because we already discussed the definition of literature. Literary genres. Uh, there are different types of literary genres in literature. And the first one is... The first one is drama. Drama are stories composed in verse or prose. It is usually a theatrical performance and it is expressed through dialogues and actions. Uh, we know that drama is intended to be performed in front of the audience or in front of the the or in the stage in the theater so most uh always and always drama is always performed and intended to be performed it is written and it is intended to be performed in front of of audiences audience and drama is not uh written in Sometimes written in verse, some because just like Romeo and Juliet, and sometimes it is also written in prose, in like a story. However, it is a, uh, uh, it is still a drama. All right. 
uh, let's proceed to the next. Uh, however, uh, you understand that the grade seven students. Okay, if you understand that, uh, let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is fable. I think you are very familiar with this one because uh, I know this one was your favorite uh, because mostly in, during your elementary days, your teachers used to uh, tell a story about fable, about naalala nyo ba yung uh, the story of a, tor a tortoise and a hare. Eh, yung pagong at ang ano, kuneho. Right. So, these fables are stories about animals with human-like characteristics. It teaches moral lesson and it is intended for children. Uh, one uh, one uh, criteria, I mean, one element that separates fable, I mean, separates fable from the other, ano, other literary genre is it is uh, the characters are animals. And those animals are given with human or person-like characteristic, which uh, they also talk, they also do something like humans, like they can um, walk, I mean, they can stand up like a human, like a human, bo human body. And some are, uh, uh, has a, and animals ha have a, have a uh, mind of thinking. So uh, they are very smart, like a human. And one thing is, uh, it teaches moral lesson. And at the end, at, at, at the end of the fable, it teaches a moral lesson, which is why uh, teachers used to tell these stories of fable, so that students are students or children will learn moral lesson. Why it is intended for children? Because we know that children are the uh, are are in the age of their imitating things or or in the age of um, learning or um, shaping their moralities, which is why the teacher used uh, fable to teach moral lessons so that the students or the children will be entertained and learn moral lessons at the same time. Do you understand that? All right, so let's proceed to the next literary genre. The next literary genre is fairy tale. All right. I also love this uh, literary genre. These are the stories about fairies or other magical creatures. It is usually intended for children. Fairy tales are usually presented as, as cartoonized. What do you mean, sir, by cartoonized? It is not uh, like uh, what we see in like telenovela, yung mga, yung mga nakikita natin sa TV na as in real person talaga. Fairy tale is an animated uh, version of a story. So it has magical creatures as well and fairies. And it is also intended for children. Because we know that children like to read uh, fairy tale stories or animated stories or visuals. All right, do you understand it? All right, so let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is fantasy. Fantasy is a fiction with strange settings and characters. It also invites suspensions or reality. Uh, the very example of this is Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a fantasy, as, uh, an example of fantasy which uh, involves uh, strange characters. And in Harry Potter, if you already watched that or read that books, you will... Um, you will encounter uh, mag uh, strange uh, characters, which uh, sometimes they are ugly. Sometimes uh, uh, they are very weird. Just like the example in a picture, like a tree who's having uh, an eye. 
it's very strange and weird. So, um, fantasy is like that. It is a story about a fiction or the magical events or uh, creatures. And fantasy is uh, far different from reality. Fantasy is just uh, a story in your mind and it will not be happen in real life. But uh, it also invites suspension and reality. All right, do you understand that? If you understand that, uh, let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is fiction. Fiction, it is a narrative literary work. The content is mainly produced through imagination. It is not a real life story. Fiction is a, a story which will not happen in real life. It means that uh, a writer is just um, uh, writing a story that will not happen in a real life. Or uh, sometimes it might, but um, it is the other genres. Fictions is not a real life story. Always remember that the very description of fiction is not a real life story. In Tagalog, it is katang isep. Ibig sabihin, it is a story produced by your mind. And it will never happen in, in real life. The content is mainly produced through imagination, just like as what I had uh, said early, earlier. I remember uh, last year that I have uh, wrote a story, of, a fiction story. And... Uh, it is also uh, it is a story that will not happen in real life. All right, uh, let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is folklore. Folklore are the songs, stories, myths, and proverbs of a people or folk. It is passed through the word of mouth. Folklore are mostly, we can uh, hear these uh, stories uh, through our grandparents. I remember uh, my Lola. I remember my Lola who always um, telling me stories about uh, Tic Tac because uh, uh, she already, she always uh, tell me that uh, she already witnessed the real Tic Tac. Um, kwento ko lang sa inyo. Uh, kasi nung sa baryo namin sa Aklan, merong, meron daw dong buntis, sabi ng lola ko. Yung meron daw dong buntis na uh, malapit ng mga anak and sobrang laki na nung tiyan niya. And one night, uh, merong ano, gabing-gabi na yun eh. Tulog na lahat ng tao, pati yung buntis. Uh, one night, nandun sa taas yung may kumalabog sa bubong nung nung bahay ng buntis and alam niyo naman sa probinsya hindi ganoon ka ganda yung mga ano nila yung mga bubong or yung mga mostly yung mga nipa-nipa lang yung mga dayami lang na pinagpatong-patong ganoon so madaling mabuksan or mawasak so ayun continue to the story um ayun na tulog na yung mga tao tapos yung tiktek Eh, siyempre, yung ditik-tik, ano, isa siyang creature na mahaba yung dila. And mostly, uh, kumakain siya ng mga bata, yung mga nasa chan pa lang ng mga, uh, kumakain siya ng mga baby or yung mga batang nasa chan pa ng nanay. So, ayun, meron daw doon yung, ano, uh, ay, ano ba yun? yung buntis, muntik ng makain yung baby niya. Uh, dinilaan daw yung chan niya. Sobrang haba daw ng dila galing bubong. Eh, may butas daw yung bubong nila. So, ayun, dinilaan yung, ano, yung chan niya. Tapos, ano, yun daw, kaya nagising daw siya. Tapos, ayun, buti na lang hindi nakain yung bata. Actually, uh, hindi, ako, as a, I'm a teacher, as a teacher, um, I don't believe on those stories because I will only believe uh, stories 
it I already witnessed it with my own eyes. Gusto ko ano yung uh, na witness ko para maniwala talaga ako sa mga story or sa mga bagay na yun. Gusto ko makita or uh, maranasan mismo something like that. All right. So uh, again, folklore are the stories like kapre, tiktek, diwende, tikbalang, something like that. You already know that. So uh, let's proceed to the next literary genre. The next literary genre is historical fiction. Story, historical fiction are the stories with fictional characters and events in a historical setting. All right. So um, the very definition of this is it is a story that uh, a story of a fictional characters or like um, uh, yung mga characters don ay hindi talaga ano totoo or minsan totoo pero yung mga pangyayari yung mga pangyayari pangyayari fabricated na ibig sabihin may mga changes na something like that but the settings are the setting is historical it means uh, it happened before it really happened it's just that uh they are some directors or authors are like creating a versions of the historical event something like that uh, again so it has uh, a fic fictional characters uh, and events in a historical setting one example of this is general luna general luna it is a movie well uh, actually it uh, it uh, it was awarded with a lot of things because of its uniqueness and bear a quality produced by the uh, I mean the director and the author of the of that um, producers of that movie General, General Luna is a event or General Luna is also one of our histo historical uh, persons that has made contributions to our history and the settings there in the movie are also in uh, <clears throat> happened before, so it really and it is really a good example of historical fiction. Do you understand that, Grade Seven students? All right. If you understand that, let's proceed to the next literary genre. The next literary genre is horror. Horror is a kind of fiction as well. It is produced by our mind. It evokes a feeling of dread in both characters and the reader. Horror is uh, will uh, give you an emotion of fear because mostly the characters and the events are very suspend, I mean, nakakatakot, full of suspension, something like that. Sobrang nang, uh, you will really feel or oh, feel yung kumakabog talaga yung dibdib mo habang pinapanood mo siya. And mostly some... And mostly people are uh, afraid to watch this kind of uh, movies because when they are alone, kasi mamaya, nasa likod mo na pala yung ano, you know, yung, yung nakakatakot na, nyari, yung zombie, <laughs> yung multo or yung ano, yung tsaka dal, diba? Andi mamaya, andi, andi na pala si tsaka sa likod mo, diba? Naka, sobrang nakakatakot, kaya... I recommend this children do not watch it alone or better do not watch it. <laughs> All right, do you understand that? Okay, so let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is humor. Humor are full of fun, fancy, and excitement. It is meant to entertain but can be contained in all genres. Humor, uh, uh, the very uh, element of humor is it has the element of comedy. It is full of fan, fancy, and excitement. It is also one of my favorite um, stories or literary genre because I like I like to make um, I like to read funny things or uh, I want to uh, satisfy myself with. Uh, 
full of ano laugh something like that uh, na nakakatawa gusto ko yung mga ganun gusto ko magbasa ng mga ganun gusto kong masatisfy yung sarili ko sa mga nakakatawa and uh, mostly I always do this with my friends uh, I'm making fun of myself or I'm making fun of things which uh, produces uh, their happiness and it is my pleasure to make them happy <laughs> you should as well But humor has a limitation. Remember that you shouldn't. Uh, you should be sensitive to their feelings. You can't just make fun of them when uh, they are not feeling well or they are not in a good mood. All right. So always remember that, students. Humor is about comedy. full of fun, fancy, and excitement. All right, so let's proceed to the next literary genre. The next literary genre is legend. These are the stories sometimes of a national or folk hero, which has a basis in fact, but also includes imaginative material. Uh, these are the legends, something like Uh, malakas and maganda, when, yun, yun yung pinaka-example ng legend dito sa Pilipinas. Si Malakas at si Maganda. Yung uh, story ni Malakas at ni Maganda is uh, about uh, yung galing sila sa bamboo, keme. Tapos, uh, yun, gumunos, ano, dun sila nang galing, tapos bumuka yung uh, dalawang bamboo. Tapos, ayun na, lumabas na sila, magkasama silang lumabas. Ganun. Uh, yun yung, uh, ganun yung mga story ng mga legend. It is sometimes a folk hero. And mostly, uh, it happened in uh, rural areas. And those people who live in the rural areas, and they fee, uh, they believe that uh, they have the basis of believing that it ha- it is really happened in real life. But we, we cannot say that it is real. unless uh, we already proven it, all right? Mostly, yung mga story dito, yung mga kapre, ay, hindi, hindi ka pala kapre, yung mga ano, ayan, yung half body of horse, half body of human, something like that. And also, yung malakas, si malakas at si maganda. The next literary genre that we will be discussing is mystery. Mystery are fiction dealing with the solution of a crime or unraveling the secrets. Uh, mystery is about, uh, mostly about ano, finding who is the criminal and uh, finding what really happened on the crime scene or something like uh, uh, knowing what uh, the secrets of your either your family, your friend, or um, something like uh, people didn't tell you. Something like the, uh, like uh, ganto. Uh, when uh, your parents uh, didn't tell you that uh, you was, uh, you were born uh, in a bathtub, but you think you were born uh, in a hospital. Something like that. Uh, hindi mo alam yung mga, uh, you are, uh, it is a story of a person knowing what really happened before or unraveling the secrets of their parents about something or particular topic. All right? Let's proceed to the next literary genre. The next literary genre is mythology. All right, this is also one of my favorite literary genre because I am into mythology. Mythology is a legend or traditional narrative often based in part of historical events that reveals human behavior and natural phenomena by its symbolism and often pertaining to the actions of the gods. Mythology are... <clears throat> about the story of gods and goddesses and magical creatures. And 
in their in Rome, um, they considered mythology as a history that um, they believe that uh, before the uh, gods and goddesses has really an intimate relationships with each other and uh, <clears throat> they will um, they believed and they will they worship those gods as they really exist which uh, some because some some does not believe on mythology <clears throat> mythology because uh they think that it this it doesn't really happen and they believe on the bible and some are believing in mythology and they worship the those gods we also have mythology in philippine in our country which is the philippine mythology like bathala and many more bathala is equivalent to zeus all right is equivalent to Zeus, which is the god of thunder, something like that, god of the heaven. All right? Do you understand that, grade 7 students? All right. Let's proceed to the next literary genre. The next literary genre is poetry. Poetry are verse and rhythmic writing with imagery that creates emotional response. Poetry are... Uh, uh, these are verse with rhythmic uh, sounds like they always end up with the same rhymes like uh, cooking, driving, dancing, singing, something like that. They have uh, the same rhymes at the end of the poem, at the end of the line, at the end of the line and uh, those lines creates an image or a symbolism or a meaning or a deeper meaning. Uh, mostly poetry are written in uh, figurative language, which uh, indicates a different meaning or it has something that uh, is not, um, that seems uh, literal in when you read it uh when you read it um when you read it but uh it really has a deeper meaning aside from the literal meaning all right so uh you will always uh need to evaluate what the literal uh, what the intended meaning given by the author all right next do you understand that, uh, grade 7 students? All right. So let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is realistic fictions. Realistic fictions are the stories that can happen and is true to life. Uh, last semester, we, uh, our teacher asked us to write a, uh, an example of realistic fiction. And I, I wrote a realistic fiction about a woman who um, who is working at night and at night and serving drinks to the people. So, uh, ano siya, nag-work siya sa gabi and ano siya, nag, uh, nyari sa mga bar. Hindi siya, ano, yung sumasayawa. Ano, yung nag-serve siya ng mga alak, ganun. Iahati niya, parang waiter, something like that. Tapos, lagi siyang umuwi ng madaling araw. Tap, meron, ano, merong, meron siya kapitbahay. Si Aling Sonia. <laughs> Aling Sonia. Aling, si Aling Sonia yung pangalan niya. Tapos, um, ano, one time, nung umuwi siya ng madaling araw, eh, may naghatid sa kanyang lalaki. Hinatid siya kasi nga, naliligaw sa kanya yun. Tapos, gabi-gabi na siya. Tapos, uh, kay, uh, nakita, siya, nakita sila ni Aling Sonia na pa-uwi. Uh, pa-uwi na ng bahay. Tapos, ang, ayun, tapos kinaumagahan, kumalat na yung kwento, yung mga Marites. Marites 2.0. Chinismis na yung, ano, yung nangyari na, ano, may kasama si uh, Maria Benaventura nung gabing yun. Tapos, ayun, 
ang naging perception na ng mga tao na ayun lumalan di si ano si Maria Buenaventura dahil sa chismis na yun. Ayun nagulat talaga si Maria nung pagkagising niya about doon. Then um ayun. Patuloy nang patuloy yung kwento. May twist doon eh. Um yung pinaka last na na yung pinaka last na nakita ni uh, Aling Sonya hindi pa yung nagkiss is hindi pala yung uh, si ano Maria ben, Benaventura at saka yung boyfriend niya yung pala yung anak niya na at saka yung ano tinatagong boyfriend nung anak niya na nakita niyang nagkikiss so ayun kinuwento niya yun akala niya si Maria Benaventura yun yung pala yung anak niya Tapos, umamin yung anak niya na yun pala yun. Tapos, ayun, napahiya sila. And, yung ta, yung buong town doon, yung buong, sa, yung village nila, ano, tinatakwil na sila, na sumisira sila ng buhay. Ayun, hindi na sila pinapautang ng, ano, tindahan. Hindi <laughs> na sila pinapautang ng, sa tindahan ng mga kapitbahay nila. Ayun, tapos na, ganun. Uh, realistic fiction, ayun, katulad ng, kwen, uh, ng ginawa kong story. Ano siya, pwede siyang mangyari sa real life, and, uh, but it's still a fiction. Gawa, ga, gawa-gawa lang ng author, but it can possibly happen in real life. Alright, do you understand that? Alright, if you understand that, let's proceed to the next literary genre, which is science fiction. Science fictions are story based on impact or actual imagined or potential science usually set in the future or on other planets. <clears throat> science fiction are mostly um, involves with technology uh, and mostly with science. Science fiction are the stories about something like futuristic, no? Yung mga... bagay or gadgets na wala pa tayo ngayon pero sa movie na yun meron na it's like a, a movie of a future like uh, kunyari ano meron ng mga gumilipad na mga kotse no na invent na yung um, yung mga kotse na lumilipad no may mga ganung ano may mga ganung story and may mga ganung movie mostly uh, may mga ganung movie sa ano sa Netflix kaya I, I recommend you to watch that in Netflix so you could uh, uh, witness how uh, science science fiction is we also had science fiction in our Philippine uh, in the Philippines however uh, due to ano uh, hindi to talagang nagi invest yung uh, Filipino make uh, Filipino movie makers in science fiction which is why the graphics in the Philippines is very bad it is not uh, good as the same as the foreign movies or yeah something more more foreign movies sa kanila talaga very ano eh, sa foreign no yung sa mga America yung uh, movies nila very ano talaga kala mo totoo talagang nangyayari no Grabe si yung graphics nila very realistic. And sa atin, 'di ba, yung mga science fiction natin, hindi talaga walang katotohanan. No? Halatang peke lang at very cheap lang yung pagkagawa. And I hope in the future maging <clears throat> maganda or mag-upgrade yung science fiction sa Pilipinas. All right, I think that would be the last literary genre in literary genre in uh that I will be discussing today. Uh, however, um, I hope you learned uh, during our session. But before we um, <clears throat> we end this uh, session, let us first test your learning. If you really learned from my discussion, all right, we will answer the questions here. Let's test your learning. First, All right, wait. Okay, the first question is an example of this genre. 
This genre is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. What do you think is the literary of genre, literary genre of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? We already discussed this. Is it drama, horror, fantasy, or mythology? Answer is fantasy, right? You are very correct. The answer is fantasy. Next question. Oh my God. The question is, what genre of literature reveals human behavior and natural phenomena by its symbolism and often depicts the actions of gods? All right, you already seen the answer. <laughs> it is mythology. It is the stories about gods and goddesses. You are very correct because you already seen the answer. Okay, the next question is, which of the following tells a stories that can possibly happen or is true to life? All right, remember, that can possibly happen in real life. All right, your answer is realistic fiction. Let's see if it is true. All right, that's correct. Realistic fiction. Realistic fiction are the stories that can happen in real life. Next. An example of this literary genre is the movie of General Luna. All right, you already know this. I think you're very familiar with this. Fable bato, fairy tale, historical fiction, or science fiction. All right, that's correct. The answer is historical fiction. Another question. It is a genre of literature that evokes a feeling of dread in both characters and the reader. Is it horror, humor, drama, or fable? All right, all right, the answer, your answer is horror. Let's see if it is correct. All right, that's correct, horror. And that would be the last question to evaluate your learning in my discussion. I hope you really learned a lot during my discussion. Um, this, again, this is, uh, my name is teacher Christian Salid, again. Thank you, grade 7 student. See you next meeting.